I Chose Freedom by Viktor Kravchenko is a gripping memoir that recounts the author's disillusionment with Soviet communism and his eventual defection to the West. The narrative offers a rare and poignant insight into the life of a Soviet official who becomes increasingly aware of the harsh realities behind the Iron Curtain. Kravchenko's personal journey from a dedicated communist to a staunch critic of the regime is marked by a series of eye-opening experiences that expose the brutalities of the Soviet system. Kravchenko begins his story with his early life and career in the Soviet Union, depicting his initial fervor for the communist cause. As an industrial engineer and a committed member of the Communist Party, he initially believed in the promises of the revolution. His narrative is infused with a sense of idealism and dedication to the principles of socialism. However, as he rises through the ranks, he starts witnessing the discrepancy between the party's propaganda and the reality of life in the Soviet Union. One of the most striking aspects of the memoir is Kravchenko's detailed account of the collectivization of agriculture and the subsequent famine in Ukraine in the early 1930s. Assigned to oversee the implementation of collectivization policies, Kravchenko is confronted with the devastating effects of these policies on the peasantry. He describes the widespread hunger, the resistance of the peasants, and the brutal methods used by the authorities to crush dissent. This period is pivotal in Kravchenko's transformation, as he grapples with the moral implications of the suffering he witnesses and the role he plays in enforcing the state's directives. The book also delves into the Great Purge of the late 1930s, a time when Stalin's regime orchestrated a massive campaign of political repression, including widespread arrests, executions, and the creation of a climate of fear. Kravchenko recounts the paranoia and terror that permeated Soviet society, with people turning against friends and family to save themselves. His own experiences during this time, including the arrest of colleagues and the constant threat to his own life, further erode his faith in the regime. Kravchenko's turning point comes during World War II, when he is assigned to a Soviet mission in the United States. This opportunity allows him to experience life in a democratic society and to compare it with the repressive environment he left behind. The contrast is stark, and Kravchenko becomes determined to break free from the constraints of Soviet control. His decision to defect is driven by a desire for personal freedom and a growing belief in the values of democracy and human rights. The memoir is not just a personal story but also a powerful indictment of the Soviet system. Kravchenko's first-hand accounts of the brutality, corruption, and hypocrisy within the Soviet Union serve as a damning critique of the regime. He highlights the widespread surveillance, the lack of personal freedoms, and the relentless propaganda that kept the population in check. His narrative is a testament to the courage it took to speak out against such a formidable regime and the personal cost of his decision to defect. I Chose Freedom resonates deeply with themes of liberty, human dignity, and the struggle against oppression. Kravchenko's journey is a stark reminder of the dangers of totalitarianism and the importance of individual conscience. His story underscores the resilience of the human spirit in the face of overwhelming adversity and the enduring quest for freedom. The memoir's impact extends beyond its immediate historical context, offering valuable insights into the nature of political repression and the universal desire for freedom. Kravchenko's experiences and reflections provide a crucial perspective on the lived reality of Soviet communism, making I Chose Freedom an essential read for anyone interested in understanding the human cost of totalitarian regimes. Through his eloquent and heartfelt narrative, Kravchenko leaves a lasting legacy as both a witness and a whistleblower, whose courage and conviction continue to inspire readers across the world.